How to find trending videos. Hi, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider and in this short video I'm going to show you how you can find trending videos in your niche and then potentially piggyback off of these trending videos to get more traffic to your own videos. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are inside of the VidTrends software, which is web-based. It works on a Mac or a PC, nothing to download nor install. The reason I got this software created is because I wanted a quick and easy way to find out which videos were trending right now. I wanted to see what videos were getting large amounts of traffic related to the keywords that I was interested in, and then using a few strategies and techniques that I know piggyback off of that traffic and get some decent traffic to my own videos. And I've also provided Video Marketing Insider members this tool for free as well. So this is how it works. We're logged in and we're going to type in a keyword. It can be anything you want related to your niche. Now you don't want to go too long tail. You just want to type in something broad. So it could be belly fat, back pain, dog training, yoga, whatever you want. So I'm going to type in keto. And we can search for either 10 or 20 videos, but we'll leave it at 10. Now, by default, the language is English, but you can switch the language. Now, this trending videos filter is the powerful thing. So the way it's set up right now is it's going to look for videos that are getting 10,000 views or more in the past 25 days. But we could go a little bit harder than that. We could go for 10, 10 days and we could go for 15,000 views. Now, to me, if a video is getting 15,000 views within the past 10 days, it's doing really well. And it's something that we could potentially uh, piggyback off of. Now, of course, if you go too narrow, if your keywords are too long and you want 100,000 views in one day, probably not going to find anything. But what happens is you click on search and if there are any videos on YouTube that match the filter that we've set, this software will pull them. And as you can see, we scroll down, we've got a bunch of videos. Now, at the time of me making this video, it is the 19th of October. So this one is 10 days ago, and these, one are, these ones are all a little bit newer. This one's on the 10th. So what we can do is we can have a look at this one, and we can click on View More, and we can get the information about that video, and we can use this to craft our own video. Now, we can't copy stuff, of course. But what we could say is advanced tricks and tips for maintaining a keto diet, something similar. We can watch the video so we can get an idea of the kind of topics that are discussed, how it's delivered. We can click on this and look at the thumbnail. Now, I like this thumbnail. This says never do this. If I'm interested in the keto diet and I come across this video in search or in the right hand column and I see this never do this. The first thing I'm thinking of, well, what is this? It's intriguing, and that's what's great about this thumbnail. I have to click to find out what this means. We then look at the tags. Now, there's nothing stopping us using the same tags. We can use the same tags. We can use some of these tags. I'd probably recommend using this channel's tag to connect our video to this particular video as well. Um, we can see the category they've used, the duration. This one's 9 minutes and 30 seconds long. So we know that you know, this length of video is not a problem for this particular niche or topic because people are watching it. So we may want to create a video that's a similar length as well. And we can just look at their description. They've got a bunch of links and stuff in there. And if they're getting all these views, I'm sure that some of those people are clicking through to their other stuff. Now, if we click on this... This will open up the video in YouTube. Now, I apologize if it blares really loudly, or luckily I've got it muted. But again, this video has got AdSense in front of it, so they're monetizing the video in that way. It's not necessary. Now, I actually think using AdSense isn't the best way to monetize your videos. And as an advertiser, someone that does YouTube ads, knowing that this is monetized, I could put my YouTube ad in front of this video, make it congruent about the keto diet, and also take some of their traffic as well. But let's skip the ad. And we can just go ahead and watch the video and see what they talk about, see how it's delivered, and then use that for our own intel. Now, of course, we can't copy, um, but we can use this for inspiration. You should always be looking at videos that are doing a great job and see how you can take elements of them and put them into your own videos. Now, me being a marketer means I've got all this kind of stuff on the right-hand side, so it kind of looks a bit crowded. But most people are not marketers, so they're not going to have all of this stuff. So when we kind of close all of these things, I've got lots of stuff that I can potentially close. Um, this is basically, when we get all the way down here, 
This is what most people are going to see at the top. Now there's an advertisement here, but if we can get our videos in here and we can have a really good thumbnail and a really good title, then there's a potential for us to piggyback. Now one way that we can get our videos in here is by connecting our video to this video, which is what I teach. one of the methods that I teach inside of Video Marketing Insider. Now granted, what a lot of people see in the right hand column is also based off of their search experience. So you are going to see videos in your right hand column that I won't see based on things that you've been looking at in the past. But just by using this uh, simple little tool called Vintrends, it enables me to see you know, what is trending right now in topics that I'm interested in and it gives me a lot of information when I'm thinking of crafting my own videos. And even if you don't want to get into the right hand search, you just want to think of ideas. This is a great way for thinking of ideas and topics for your own channel. Because you've seen the stuff that's important, um, that's trending, you've seen the stuff that's getting a lot of views, and you can start creating videos about similar topics. Hopefully this video was useful. Um, if you'd like to check out VidTrends, there'll be a link below to the Video Marketing Insider page where you can check that out. This is one of several web-based softwares that members get when they join. Other than that, thank you for watching. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you like, if you want to, all that stuff, bell notification, blah, blah, blah. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews. So go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already and hit the bell notification. Other than that, Ask any questions you've got below and I'll see you soon.